A central Queensland shire has drawn international outrage by putting a price on the heads of feral cats. The Banana Shire Council imposed the bounty after concerns cats were killing native animals and destroying the landscape. A warning, this report has graphic images. Land your right, love. Go steady. In a central Queensland paddock, a farmer is on the lookout for a feral pest. Stop there, right there. His target, a cat. So he's, he's not as big as the biggest ones. Some of the bigger ones we've had are nearly as big as a dog. When Sib Teresi moved to the Banana Shire two decades ago, the horizon was teeming with life. But he says that changed as the cats moved in. They climb up trees, they, they choke the, the life out of the animals by, by grabbing them by the throat. They're a monster within our environment. That's what they are, they're a monster. It's such a problem, the local council has imposed a bounty. $10 a feral cat, 5 a kitten. Farmers know there's a problem. Like I've had a couple of farmers ring me up and ask me how many cats we, we've given bounty on and, and they want to give us money to increase the bounty. It's a move that's drawn criticism from around the world. We've had a fair few, you know, ridiculous letters to us, emails, abuse of phone calls and all that. Animal activists say it's inhumane and they've appealed to locals at Biloela. When you're shooting an animal from a distance, it often you're not as accurate as you would intend to be or would like to be and it can cause the animal to suffer for several minutes. Sib Teresi says his stock and native animals are more important than feral cats' rights. What we saw tonight was actually an incredibly rare event. Farmers often see wild cats out on their properties, but they're elusive and difficult to capture. They say to really tackle the problem, bigger solutions are needed. For now, the hunter will continue to be the hunted. Amelia Turzon, ABC News, Banana Shire.